a triangular gate having a horizontal base 1.2 meters long and an altitude of 1.8 meters is inclined 45 degrees from the vertical with the vertex pointing upward. The base of the gate is 2.4 meters below the surface of the liquid which has a specific gravity of 0.82. What normal force must be applied at the vertex of the gate to open it? So here is the given problem. So the gate is triangular, 45 degrees with horizontal. Then the base is horizontal, 2.4 meters below the oil surface of specific gravity, 0.82. This is the normal force P perpendicular to the plane of the gate required to open it. So this is the gate and it is 1.2 meters by 1.8 meters high. Therefore, the location of the centroid is two-thirds of 1.8 or one-third of 1.8 from the bottom. So the distance of the centroid from A is 1.2 and its distance from B is 0.6 meter and at this point acts the oil fluid pressure force F and the distance from centroid is denoted by E. So this is 0 0.6 or one third of 1.8, 1.2, two thirds of 1.8. So our working equation is summation moment about B equals zero. So P times 1.8 equals F times quantity 0 0.6 minus E. Where F is specific weight of oil, bar H of oil, area of the gate. Now, bar H, this is bar H, vertical distance to the centroid because there's only one liquid and it is equal to 2.4 minus this height here. This height is equal to 0.6 sine 45. So, bar H is 2.4 minus 0.6 sine of 45 degrees. So, bar H is equal to 1.976 meters. Having found bar H, we can now uh, compute F, which is specific weight of oil, 0.82 times 9.81 times uh, bar H, 1.976, area 1 half or 0.5 of 1.2 times 1.8. So F is 17.167 kilonewtons. Then E is height of triangle square over 18 bar h. So 1.8 square sine of 45 height of triangle square sine of theta over 18 bar h. So 1.8 square sine 45 over 18 bar h is 1.976. So E is 0 0.06441 meter. So everything is known. Substitute in our working equation. So P times 1.8 equals 17.167 times quantity 0 0.6 minus 0 0.06441. So P is equal to 5.108 kilonewtons.